Hey there, Sano Peeps, how's it going? So I've been asked by several people to make a video explaining fetal lie and then how you can see those 2D image representations and decipher from one image what's the lie, whether it's transverse maternal right, transverse maternal left, you know. So real quick, let's just go over the basics. The fetal lie is very simple, right? Like if it's head down, it's gonna be vertex or cephalic, right? Let's talk about pure basics. If it's breech, it's gonna be butt down. I'm not gonna go over all the different types of breeches. And then transverse, that's when the baby's lying across the maternal abdomen. So while you're scanning a mom, you're doing a fetal ultrasound, determining the lay is very simple. You're scanning. If you go down by the symphysis pubis, down by the cervix, and you see the head, the baby's cephalic or it's vertex. If it's transverse, you wanna know where the head's at. You go to the left, you go to the right, and once you find the head, oh, head's maternal right. You know, so that part's not hard. It's trying to find out this 2D representation of a 3D image of a cross section of a cross section that can be a little difficult for some people. And for the most part in practice, if you have a problem with that, you're still gonna be a good sonographer because you're scanning in real time. Now where it comes into play is when you're getting, when you're taking your OB registries, they ask you those questions. Now you're not gonna get a ton of questions on that, but you will get a few. You'll get a picture of the fetal abdomen and transverse. They'll say, you are sagittal in the maternal abdomen and you're getting the fetus in transverse. If you're sagittal in the maternal abdomen and you're getting the fetus in transverse, that means that baby is laying in transverse. So I'm gonna try to sh go show you a couple of clips and see if we can kind of go over there and try to get an understanding for it. But hopefully I can elucidate a little bit. So for starters, we'll do the simple stuff. Here you have maternal abdomen sagittal or longitudinal and maternal abdomen transverse. Very simple. So for presentation, you want to come down here towards the symphysis pubis. And then we know that the baby is vertex or cephalic. So tra transverse down here where the baby's head is. And there's a head. So back here is a cerebe cerebellum. So the left side of the screen. So you know the baby's face is to the right of the screen, which is the maternal left. So the baby is head down, face maternal left. All right, so here I'm transverse on the abdomen. And there you got the fetus in transverse. You have the stomach anterior the spine to the left. So that means that the baby's head is gonna be down this way. So scan down, down, head is there. Scan up. Again, stomach, spine to the left of the screen. Here I'm in sagittal. Now remember, the baby's vertex, head down. So mom's longitudinal, baby's longitudinal. Now here the baby turned, now the spine is facing the anterior uterine wall, but the fetus is still vertex or cephalic. Okay, so here we are in the lower uterus segment. We're sagittal on the maternal abdomen, and we have the spine here and the sacrum. So we know that this baby is breech. Spine facing the mother's anterior. So my, mom's spine would be back here. Baby's spine is here. Mom's head would be over here, and baby's head is also here. So now if you go transverse on the abdomen, transverse on the, on the mother's abdomen, you're also going to get transverse fetal chest here. And remember, the spine facing mother anterior. Also keep in mind, fetuses move, so it may be breech, spine facing the mother's anterior, and a few moments later it'll be breech, spine facing the mother's posterior. Okay, so let's pretend you're sagittal on the mom's belly right now. So anterior, uterine wall, mother's head would be this way, mother's feet would be this way, and here you got the transverse chest of the fetus. So you already know that this baby is in a transverse lay. Now you gotta figure out from this image, obviously if you're scanning real time, you just scan and look for the, the head and you'll know what side the head's on. But from this still image, you gotta see the normal situs heart would be pointing to the left. So this is left, this is right, this is the spine, posterior, anterior of the fetus. If you scan more cephalid from here, you'll reach the head. So in order to scan cephalid here, you have to go to the maternal left. And if, you, and if you scan caudally or inferiorly from here, you'll reach the stomach and then the fetal abdomen and then the fetal legs. And that's going to be on the maternal right. So this fetus is lying transverse head maternal left. Here's a similar image. Let's pretend you're sagittal on the maternal abdomen. You, you got the heart. It's pointing to the left. So you know this is the left and this is the right. If you scan cephalid from here, you'll meet the head. The head's going to be on the maternal left. If you scan caudally or inferior from here, you'll eventually see the stomach and the abdomen, and that's gonna be on the maternal right. This baby is transverse, head maternal left, spine to the mother's posterior. 
and here's a placenta. This one's easy. If you're sagittal on the maternal abdomen, the spine is facing the maternal anterior, and the head is over here, the button legs are over here. So this baby is breech. But let's flip this around. Let's say, for instance, you're transverse on the maternal abdomen. So you're transverse, anterior uterine wall, mother's right, mother's left. This would be a transverse fetal head maternal right. Let's say, for instance, you're transverse on the maternal abdomen right now. So anterior uterine wall, you got your stomach, that's your good guideline. So you already know that this is left, this is right, posterior and anterior. So if you move more cephalid, the head's going to be that way. If you move more caudally, the feet are going to be this way. So you're transverse, more cephalid, the head's going to be up there. So this baby is breech. All right, so here's an MRI. Let's put the transducer right here. And you're transverse on the abdomen. Here's the fetal abdomen, so transverse maternal abdomen, transverse fetal abdomen. Here's your stomach. If you go cephalid or towards the head, you got to go down. And there's the head. So the fetus is vertex. Until you start scanning fetuses and OB ultrasound on a regular basis, this is going to be kind of a hard concept to internalize. You just got to scan, and once you start scanning, you get this 3D representation in your brain of how the fetus lies in accordance to the mother's anatomy as well. So don't be discouraged. A lot of people have trouble with this. Um, as you do it more, you'll get it. All right, I hope you found this useful. Bye.